Day 36, waking up in Nordmar. And uh, actually, I'm just gonna loot this chest. Broken. Because these chests sometimes contain fire arrows, and I am desperate, as you can see in the quick bar. We are totally out. A weapon can never be sharp enough. <sighs> and uh, I'm almost out of explosive arrows, too, because I just love wasting those. Teach me something about hunting. We're having all kinds of wonderful problems, mostly because I still have to kill skeletons and I'm running out of means of killing skeletons, so... I'm not sure what we're gonna do about that. I mean, we could bring one of our pals, but they seem to get murdered at a pretty high rate. Uh... Show me your goods. And we need sulfur to make the stupid things. So that's kind of problematic. Because we don't have any sulfur and it's actually quite difficult to get sulfur because I mean I have one I have one piece of sulfur uh, and uh, two lumps of sulfur I don't know if that helps me but we should can you teach me how to be a smith by you know that I can but I cannot show you how to oh. your magic or weapons okay. For that you'll have to go to the hammer clan well, there's going to be a bit of a problem with that now, isn't there? Because they're pissed with me. Show me how to be a smith. Did you bring your tools and raw materials? What do you mean? Did you think I was going to give you the materials? Steel is expensive. Too expensive to be ruined by an apprentice. What do I need? A smith needs his own hammer. That much is obvious. Just bring 30 steel blanks. That will be enough for 10 good blades. If you're lucky. Holy shit! Where do I get that steel? You have a heavy chest. Will he notice? Will he just stand there until the end of time? Broken. Okay, so I got a ruby blade. That's pretty cool. That's a good sword. I mean, actually, no, I take it back. That's a terrible sword. It just looks cool. All right, fine. Or sounds cool, even. Well, that's another heavy chest down. I don't know how many more I have. I think someone said three till my next payout. Well, crap, guys. We need sulfur. Badly. And I think I need to learn how to mine it. Do you think there's any chance that maybe the uh, Hammer Clan guys have forgiven me? Should we attempt? It's probably not good, but. Uh... Okay, well. Nope. They don't forgive easily, so. Look, I'm sorry, guys. I was literally trying to help you kill the orcs. But now I don't really care what happens to you. Look, I'm sorry. I didn't mean it. You kill one guy and you've made lifelong enemies. I mean, that is kind of accurate now, isn't it? to bleed I would like to help you guys humans versus the orcs that's the intended path here but anyway let's go to the wolf clan as we stare down these ice wolves Ooh. what's that what are they doing in here you know what I'm not gonna help I'm just gonna get myself in more trouble that way. I'm gonna let that sort itself out. It's the problem. Can't be a good person and help because you might actually murder somebody by accident. Show me your goods. You guys never have. Uh... Show me your goods. Okay. How's that? Take those two. 
How much steel do I have? I need 30 blanks. I'm getting close. That wind is absolutely ridiculous. And I apologize to everyone that has to listen. Ooh, a heavy chest. Look at this. Man, the Nordmarians really like their heavy chests. The Wolf Ripper. It does 80 damage. Wow, that's disappointing. How many more chests until the next bow? Probably like another three or four. Wow, that sound mixing is terrible. Let's get out of here. Um, where do we go? Oh, the monastery probably has like stuff, right? Ah, the sound. The relentless wind is still howling. At least that's not cutting out every three seconds, though. Like, if a, a persistent loud sound is less obnoxious than something that cuts in and out. What is happening? Oh, okay, right. I forgot. Yeah, I couldn't help you guys. Because, um, you know. I mean, I tried helping more than I should have because I could have used those extra three fire arrows that I used. Can you teach me something? I am still a master of true magic. I can try to show it to you, if you want. Moreover, I'm rather a decent alchemist. If Ooh. you are looking for spells, you should talk to Dargoth as well. He can surely teach you a few spells, too. I mostly just care about the alchemy. Teach me something about ancient magic. No, I said alchemy. Oh. That was a waste. I thought you were a good alchemist, but I guess he won't teach me that. The beasts just won't leave us in peace. Uh, one more and they should be done. Creature. There we go. Aiden. With you, brother. What are you doing here? Research. Before this incident with the ruins, I used to be a master of transformation magic. And now, <sighs> I seem to be nothing but a simple peasant these days. But rumor has it that there are other ways of transforming oneself. Oh. What have you heard? I heard of people who are able to change even if they are not magicians. Just imagine if I could do that too. Then everything would be like it used to. What do you need? Have you ever heard of druids? Nope. They have a stone. <laughs> I said yes! I need such a stone. I will get you such a stone. That is great. I wouldn't survive for an hour out there without my magic. You're a lifesaver. Uh... What's in it for me if I help you? I borrowed an ancient book from the library. There isn't much I can do with it. I will give it to you. You can draw lots of ancient knowledge from it. Where can I find a druid? There is a hunter with the wolf clan. His name is Bogir. I am sure that he is a druid. Can you teach me something? Oh, yes. I studied lots of ancient books in order to find out the secrets of magic, but it's hopeless. I understand the theory, but my spirit is simply not strong enough. I can tell you about this long forgotten knowledge if you like. No, I don't want ancient magic. I want the other stuff. Alchemy. I just want to look around. The upper chambers are at your disposal. But please, be careful and do not take anything. The lower chambers contain the oldest scriptures of the library. Only trained staff may enter there. The risk that something might be destroyed is just too high. Once you know what you're looking for, come back and see me. Now I know how the ring came to the north. Akasha, a warrior of the Ancient Ones, brought it all the way from the desert to here, Nordmar. Oh, interesting. Does the book also say where to find the ring? Perhaps. Akasha was buried here, along with his ring. So you are looking for his grave? Go to the Fire Clan. Their warriors are guarding the cave tombs. If anyone can help you, it will be them. Teach me something about ancient magic. I wonder what... 
Should have learned that, but it's too late now. I wonder what Windows' problem is. It keeps dinging at me. Well, you guys are just a bucket of fun. Don't you have an alchemy bench? Oh, you do. Good. Ooh. Welcome, brother. Times are tough, and much tougher still here in the north. You're not from here, are you? No, I come from Mertana. Geldern, to be more exact. I fled when the orcs came. I found a new place to stay when I came here. Can you sell me something? I can't offer you much of a selection. In Nordmar, it's hard to find the necessary ingredients for potions. But what I have, you're welcome to buy. Can you teach me something? I would, but unfortunately, I barely have enough supplies for myself. I don't have any left over for an apprentice. What should I go get so you can teach me? Um, perhaps some mana plants? We could really use them here in the monastery. How many do you need? Fifty would be great. What? I'll pay you for them, too. I will get the plants for you. Oh, that's excellent. I find it too dangerous out there myself. I'm glad I made it here in the first place. Fifty plants. Oh, do I have them already? Some of the plants you requested. Very good. Oh, no. I really use <laughs> I need three more. Wow. Geldern has been liberated. That is good to hear. But I'm not going to go back. I'm sure that my lab has been looted already, and people need me here. Thanks for letting me know, anyway. Show me your goods. Can I buy some mana plants and sell them? I bet you I can. Oh wait, that's magic root. Mana plants. Ah ha ha. <sighs> okay, and he does not have the wondrous sulfur that we desire. I wonder if this is a different recipe. Probably not. That would be too nice. Here are your plants. Good. I will keep my promise. Here's your gold. And of course, I will teach you. Teach me something about alchemy. Uh-huh. Burn potions? Burn a potions. You ready for that. Ah! Four more alchemy points. Do I put the LP into it? I mean, I guess. Uh, yeah, whatever. It's going to be uneven anyway. Why not? Good. That's the way. Okay. You aren't ready for that. I swear. Why didn't you tell me that? This game. I don't have the ingredients for that. But I, uh, I need two sulfur at a time. I got gotcha. you. Um, I can I make poison arrows. Experience. No. I don't have enough experience. I hate you. You're the worst. Okay. Well. Don't care. I guess we're going back to Mertana for nothing else but to get rid of the wind. So it's shaping up like day 36 is just purely going to be this quest for more arrows. More fire arrows. One day this will be over. Too much to hope that somebody would sell me some. Yay! I'm not a crap shot. Well, what do we think? More heavy chests, too. That would be nice. And I bet you there's a heavy chest. Do you remember that dragon that slaughtered the crap out of me way early on? Cave under Cape Dunn. I bet you there's a heavy chest in there. I just don't know if it's worth it, because I'm betting a dragon would probably still wreck my day pretty quick. Oh, I walked rather than teleporting. Show me your goods. Can I take your arrows? It's getting really tedious. Right, I have a bow, but... Not actually a good bow. It's not better than what I have. I 
And we need freaking fire arrows desperately. Like even some would be better than nothing. Like what can we do? We can slaughter orcs. I am making my way to Cape Dunn. And I'm walking because I don't know why I'm walking, honestly. I have the teleportation stuff. I just felt like walking today. I'll take the scenic route. I need the time to think is more the problem. I need to think about what the hell I'm doing about arrows. Ooh, why not? I want to learn acrobatics. Body control is a good thing. It helps you safely survive a fall from a great height. But remember, you aren't immortal. Wait, is that all? That's it. You can just... <laughs> Your jump is exactly the same. Put that weapon away. You just survive a fall better. Well, we're throwing away points, Show so why not? Goods. <sighs> Take your arrows. Um, I guess I'll give you all these shields. Because what am I going to do with them? Want some spells too? You've got money, and I've got spells that I'm never ever going to use. There. Look at that. Do we attempt the dragon? I would kind of like a buddy to do that, if I'm honest. Although the dragon tore through my buddy pretty quick last time too, so maybe that wouldn't help so much. Still got a decent amount of LP. Hmm. Ooh. There's alchemy stuff here. Figure out the wall. Show me your goods. Still no sulfur. Just need sulfur. Hmm. Just gonna start looking at everything. Everything that could be of any value. Oh, where's the next town? Ooh. Hmm. You know what? Why not? I changed my mind. Let's make it a more interesting day. Let's destroy Faring. Because maybe if I expend enough, like, regular arrows, it'll work out to trading for fire arrows. Because they've got to have goodies inside town, right? Come on. Wilson. Oh, he was a hunter, wasn't he? That's a shame. So the hunters are against me. Just hoping you guys would help. But I guess you are just worthless mercenaries. Connor. Yeah. I'm sorry, Connor. At least it's mostly mercenaries here. Tom. Oh, Tom was a good man. But he couldn't draw his bow fast enough, so now he's dead. <sighs> I sigh... Ooh, what? Every time. Because I'm just so tired of having to kill people. But I'm really, really hoping this does end up working out so that I get what I want. So I'm hoping that, like, once we loot the place, like, we'll kill everyone, we'll loot the place... And maybe some fire arrows will come of it, because this is going to be like the next point where there's like a high density of chests. And we've discovered that chests... What? Why was he invincible? Okay. We've discovered the chests seem to be the best way of getting fire arrows, because clearly... It went right through his neck! Because clearly making fire arrows isn't helping me. 
because it's just not going to go that way. Because sulfur is apparently a very, very rare thing. Like, even more rare than magic ore. Despite the entire plot of this series. This game undermines itself in so many ways. That's fine. It's not a bad time, it's just a uh, repetitive time. And repetition is, well, the quickest way to spoil your pleasures. Nar. Are you the guy that scanned me for the pelts? Oh, come on. The elites are starting to pour out of the castle. Also, there might be a heavy chest in the castle, so, you know. Well, he's pissed. Look at all these elites. Well, I'd have loved to get him the wolf skins, but, you know. This happened. And there was apparently nothing I could do about it. Well, I say nothing I could do about it. I could have, like, held off my orc slaughter, like, a few days. Probably would have gone away. Oh, I want to kill a Lee. Still not healing. Yeah. Just miscellaneous elites. Okay, I'm gonna run back, heal up. Fortunately, I can't get so far ahead of these guys. Oh shit. Can't get too far ahead because I don't want their health to regenerate. I also don't want to corner myself in town, so we gotta be careful. There's only so far we can really run here. Okay, you gotta be close. There we go. Will you guys follow me on the bridge? Oh, what the hell? I don't want to get stun locked by a stupid scavenger. Koraz? Uh, come on! Gotcha. Away we go. You know, we could enlist help. So far, the help always ends up being more of a hindrance. I wonder, can you get more than one buddy at once? Like, I know you can follow somebody and then have a follower, but can you have two followers? That I'm not sure about. I suspect Stop the answer is right no. But I don't know that for sure. Because maybe I could just go collect all my buddies, as long and tedious as that would be, and then go storm one of those undead caves. And maybe it would go slightly better. Certainly wouldn't need so many arrows. The buddy system being as limited as it is, is definitely something that's making this challenge more of a hassle than it needs to be. Because you think, oh, if you could take buddies, then yeah, you should be able to do the game with anything ever. And technically you could, but it would just be like so much tedious back and forth. Like, look at how much back and forth we always have to do just to keep our guys alive, let alone make sure that they kill something. Because despite the balancing being what it's called, I don't think it's very balanced. Oh, here come the regular warriors. Charging down the bridge. Alright. Do, do, do. I don't know. Zach Ho. Zach Osh. You're very weak for an elite. You're not an elite, you're a fake. Great pretender. Oh, here comes another one. It's funny how, like, once you kill someone in the city, they will leave the city by miles just to try to get you. It's a bit ridiculous. Where's the leader? Probably still in the castle, but as we've seen, he'll come out eventually. As soon as he feels like that's something he has to do, he will. Uh-oh. Oh, but there's no shaman in there. 
Based on how weak everyone's been, I'm guessing probably not. Oh, come on. Ah. Let the scavenger get him. Thank you, scavenger! Using the wildlife. Let's make it this entertaining, at least. Am I? You guys keep saying that, but I'm wearing some pretty hefty armor here. Oh no. Although so is he. Not quite as hefty, but it's alright. Also, I think it's kind of stupid that, if it, nobody's noticed yet, that the uh, mercenary armor, like level 1, 2, and 3, they're literally the same armor as the rebel armor. It's just different colors. They couldn't even be bothered to give it a different model. Uh, how many more do you think we'll have to kill? Like, there's definitely been some areas where we didn't have to kill very many orcs. To be fair, I think the whole intent is that they're more dug into Mertana. Well, that's not even true, because Trellis. Trellis, we barely killed anyone. Well, since you guys have to follow a designated path, I'm going to walk around the snappers, and you can walk through the snappers. This is how we win. And then the snappers will come help us. Not that I need their help. Come on. Really? There. I'll just keep eating and you guys can die to snappers and then we'll all have a wonderful time. I mean, technically they have more than enough strength and numbers to kill the snappers, but... The distraction's nice. Curtis. Wow. You have a lovely day, you. Oh, that's not good. I don't like the sound of that. Ah, oh, the leader has magic. How interesting. Moth. Oh, shit. His magic isn't super powerful, thankfully, but... It is enough for me to be worried about. On top of you. Go away. Go away. Go away. Wow. That's an interesting twist. The leader has magic. I like that better, actually, because that means that he's more powerful than his buddies. More powerful than his advisors, which would make sense why he's in charge then. There. As long as I stay out of his range, I should be okay. And I'm not sure that he heals himself. Oh, you fucking guy. Well, I think I just heard the heal spell go off, so maybe not. How unfortunate. No, I want you to use your staff. Your staff's so much better. It'll be much more effective on my armor, I promise you. Oh, yes, the wargs. Come on. 
Get him. Okay. Spike. Alright, where is he? Where's the leader? Because I know he can kill the wargs. I intend to help them. Ah, oh, the tree was helping him. I don't even care if I get the XP for this guy. I like the fact that he's retreating from wargs. Like a complete coward. Don't you do it. Yeah! Teamwork. Teamwork with the wildlife. Eventually you guys have to get tired and go away, right? Like, you've chased me so far. We're almost back in Gotha. I've never even met you. Oh. Oh, come on. Who? Who said that? Oh, Mitch. You my bitch, Mitch. You too. What? What happened? <sighs> Come on. Uh, I guess I should heal up. Okay, what's going on here? Ego. It's like I have to kill everybody for faring. There's so many people. Like, eventually they're gonna have to retreat, right? Although, lots of names are coming up that I swear I've never seen, so... Maybe there was a lot more inside the castle than I thought. Probably whole entire lines of quests that I missed. I should probably care more. I mostly just try to get through this now. We don't need the XP. We just need the ancient artifacts. Come on. When you've killed most of the population, you cease to care about the minutia. Let's talk to this guy. Oh gosh. Oh, he had nothing special. Alright, should we make our way back? Yay! I get headshots. I don't know. It's a way up between do I want the bonus damage from the headshot or do I want the more guaranteed chance of hitting? I mean, that's always kind of the thing with headshots. That's why they're a gameplay mechanic. Come on. There we go. Ah, the ward got him. That's fine. Oh, I angered the wargs. Okay. Is this the last orc? Probably not. Eventually, they're gonna have to retreat. And then we can go loot faring, as promised. But until that time... We're apparently just shooting into the wind. Oh. Someone new. Yeah, they like have to run along the path until they're like at the shortest point to you possible and then they can like run towards you it seems. How interesting. Yeah, see he's run up the path and then shortest distance towards me. Mojack. Oh yeah, he was the one that liked the booze, wasn't he? Now he's made up his mind. He's decided, no, no, I don't need to kill the wargs. I'll come after this guy. Don't you remember me? I gave you the war Nordmar Nogginfog. I made it just for you. It was special. You said it was good. Oh. Never mind. I didn't give it to him, apparently. I intended to. Didn't get around to. Well... Much as I'd love to stay in chat, guys. 
I'm not even looting bodies anymore, really. Okay, I'm gonna loot this one. I'll loot the bodies of the hunters for sure, because then I can get arrows. But other than that, oh, there's a big old shaman over there. That's not good. As long as I like arc the arrow like crazy, <laughs> seems to be all right. He was a really weak shaman though. Oh, oh shit. How many shaman are in there? Please tell me there's not more. Alright guys. Depend on the wargs for some help. Yeah. If I can just get them distracted, we'll be okay. Mostly the shaman. Fuck. You, buddy. Ah! Ah! What do you mean, Mora? That's a work. Come on. No. No! Why are the shamans so hard? I hate you so much. The healing. Why would you give an opponent healing? Come on. No! No, 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 no! No! Fuck you guys. Just want your boss dead. <sighs> Is that so much to ask? Okay, if we pick off all the rest, then I guess the shaman might flee. Hopefully this is the last hurrah of these guys, and then we can go home. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Yeah, let's not get hit by that. Well, we're in Gotha, basically. We get Gorn to help. Oh, hey, are there rebels here? My, oh my, they are. How convenient. I'm glad you have to be closer to... I'm not happy that you have to fucking heal every three seconds, though. As soon as your health gets under 50%, my own guys aren't that smart. Uh-oh. 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 How many arrows are we going to waste on this one shaman? He seems to be much better at the healing upkeep than his friends were. Ah! I keep thinking, oh, if I just lob one at him, it'll be okay, but it never seems to work well enough. Now! I still lobbed it and his heal activated faster. Yes! Finally. Smashing to pieces doesn't really make a whole lot of sense. Just you know, cut to pieces, yes. Smash into sloppy paste makes sense. Oh, what is this? It's like sidles up beside me to shoot. He's like, wait a second, you're an opponent. Well... I should have been making a body count, apparently. I just assumed they would, like, you know, give up faster because of the precedent that's been set for the last couple of raids. Okay. All right. That's enough of that nonsense. I don't even care about looting the shaman. 
What? Seriously. What's left in Faring? I guess we'll find out, won't we? Oh. Those guys were. No shamans, so oh, that's okay. Just playing old warriors. There's so many orcs. I'm just surprised. I guess maybe my... There we go. Kill the orc chieftains. What is that? He wasn't a chief. But maybe all the, the orc chiefs that uh, ruled Mertana, because we've liberated everywhere in Mertana now. Well, huh, how did I miss this chest? Like the number of times that I've gone by, I just assumed that I looted it. it helps me. All right. Mortis. Just look for hunters. We don't need gold ever again. I have over a hundred grand. And I've already bought the most expensive item in the game, which is this armor. Okay, so a bunch of dead guys. Use like 300 and now 450 arrows today. That's a lot. All right, let's go check out the castle. See if there's, oh, you know what? What am I doing? Let's loot everything. Just in case. Oh, there's fires in these chests too. I gotta do that. Let's uh, equip it just so I have a counter. Let's say six. There we go. Four whole fire arrows. Look at that. It was worth spending 450 regular arrows to get myself four fire arrows. At least the other ones can be reliably replenished. Broken. I again. Broken. <sighs> Broken. Wow, these chests consistently break more picks than even the best chests in the game. All right, and we looted that one. Pretty sure I already looted all up here, but let's just open all these. They're apparently where the money is. Okay. Head knocks. Lots of head knock arrows. Just... Too bad you can't, like, make a flame and arrow out of a torch and an arrow. Seems to me like that would also work. Just unwrap the torch and wrap that shit onto the arrow. Fuck what I know now. This is actually a really good castle design. I don't know if I mentioned this when I was in Faring, but yeah, like, the singular path that you have to take up here, like, this would be a ridiculous stronghold. No one would take this. So far, so bad. All right, that's a feat of strength thing to uh, lift that up. It's dumb. You need to have like a shit ton of strength so that you can lift up the millstone and then get more strength. Not sure why they felt the need to put that in. I guess if you're going for like a strength build, you can go, hey, I'm going to go find all of these millstones to lift them up. As like a little personal side questy thing. Oh, yeah, eight. Get that. This was a good plan. Well, then I feel bad about not looting all those, like, plain crappy chests everywhere else, because clearly they're where it's at as far as finding flame and arrows. Turns. Lots of gold, lots of gold. Huh. It's too bad you can't find just, like, sulfur in, you know, an alchemist's place. 
you know, the things that would make sense to be in the places. That's kind of how I expect the game to be set up. Good. Lots of chests. And because they have random loot maps, there's equal chance that we'll get more fire arrows. Look at that. You know how hard it would have been to find the materials to make 10 fire arrows? Or we could just liberate a city. Two birds with one stone. Mind you, it takes like a half hour to uh, throw that stone, but whatever. We all have our methods. Okay. Done up here. Get to the good stuff in a bit. This is actually a bigger place than I thought it was up here. Which is probably why it took so bloody long. Slaves quarters, alright. This building looked too nice for slaves. Studies. Oh good, a bookshelf at last. Here it says something about alchemy. Son of a bitch! Here it says something about alchemy. I guess I didn't need to waste all those points this morning. I guess that rounds out an even 10 that I just gained in total though, so whatever. Uh, that's it. Could have put all our points into hunting skill. Would have been more profitable. Is this somewhere I've been? Nope. At least they like did a good job like saying okay there's tons of people up here we'll put tons of beds up here keeps it semi-consistent i'm pretty sure there's still more people that we killed than there are beds in this city and probably the entire game but either way not everyone needs their own bed they could rotate on shifts or something Got an excavation going on here. So where did the big man sit? We've been in all the buildings, right? Oh, no. This one is the large chest. Broken. Even though it has the same physical dimensions as all the other ones. Broken. And exactly the same look Broken. and model. Broken. Fuck! Sakes. Okay. Oh, there's where he said. And Robar waged war against the orcs, and the wrath of Enos descended upon them, and Robar was victorious. Once his enemies were defeated, Enos said to him, This is where you shall establish your kingdom. And Robar did as he was bidden. <sighs> See, like, once again deifying Robar rather than just yeah he was some fucking king that ruled a kingdom big friggin deal now it's like oh no he was a god of a man and he took the land from the orcs in the first place like no I liked it when there was a little more you know realism to the story fuck do I know about storytelling though hey Wow, I'm going to loot the shit out of this place. Large chest. Nothing good in those though. Shit of this. Hopefully that's a heavy chest, I'm praying. Solid metal chest. Here's the one I have. I've got a summon demon spell that I'll never use, but yeah wow so we went through all that we got 13 fire arrows i mean that's better than nothing but i was kind of hoping for slightly more not gonna lie so it takes three per skeleton so that's not a whole lot cleaver Well, I guess that's the whole town. Cause I'm pretty sure I've already been through all this shit. Maybe not over here though. Let's check. Come on, four more. Nope. 
That Nox that I don't need anymore. Just destroyed all of the places that have a remez. Think anyway. Lockpicks. Yeah. Ah, I mean, there's always more to discover, clearly. But yeah, it's a pretty low drop chance of those fire arrows. I think we've worn out our luck. Seems that way. Nothing up here. Look at that scenery when it draws itself in finally. Oh, I see. You get a little roll animation when you fall. That does work in real life. Like if you ever watch parkour, people jump off of really high things, they always turn it into a roll because and this is kind of the same thing as jumping off of like high cliffs with a snowboard and stuff too, is the more oh, more fire arrows. The more of your downward momentum that you can turn into lateral momentum forward or something, the less force of impact there will be downward, which means there's less impact overall, so it's less harmful to your body. The trouble is, and the, you know, skill with parkour is trying to be able to turn that into forward momentum through a roll without, you know, also just rolling onto your neck and killing yourself. And also not taking the impact and then rolling, which is the thing that I have a tendency to do when I practice that stuff. Very hard to, like, throw yourself intentionally farther and more, quote-unquote, out of control for what it feels just to try to save yourself kind of thing, but that is how it works. The transfer of force. Is there anything up here or is it literally just the gatehouse? Since we're here, we might as well check, right? So, an entire day and we net ourselves 17 fire arrows. Disappointing. We might be able to take on that one cave at least though, so I guess that's progress. It's one more thing I can do. It's in the air. Did I come in here? I honestly can't remember. And I was really hoping that I could get like the smithing skill so that if I ever did find more like sulfur veins, I could mine them and get more. That didn't pan out so well. This isn't going well. Alright. Let us go, I guess... Let's go to Geldern. And we'll start there tomorrow. Probably, anyway. I'm not gonna go try to find that other thing. Thing? Cave. I really wish the alchemists would tell me something. And not about ancient magic, I don't care. Unless I wanted to wear that robe. Which I'm really not jonesing to do. You guys gonna be pissed if I open this? Okay! God damn it. Wow. Stop right there. <sighs> I literally liberated this place for you guys, and you won't let me take some stuff? Just... Well, then what do we do? I can't get into this door still, I don't have the, I key. the right key. I'm betting Samuel probably had the key. I'm betting there's a freaking heavy chest in there. Piss me off. I guess we'll go check out up here and maybe see if there happens to be a key lying around that I missed. I highly doubt it, but you never know. Just lying on a bookshelf or something. No. No such luck. Back room. Ooh. Is there anyone back here? No. Okay, I'm gonna open this because it's never been opened. Crap. Fine then. Fuck me for trying. 
We could have. You were wanted <sighs> here for theft. Hmm. Let's forget the whole thing. No, you dirty thief. Ah, oh, what? I offered you 500 gold Stop pieces right. and I stole like 10 gold. This place sucks. I don't like Gildern. Okay, let's talk to this old man. Don't need to Teach protect myself against about alchemy. illness. All right, I can't do that now. Show me your goods. I also wish that they just happened to have, you know, like fire arrows lying around in their inventory, but clearly that's never going to happen. Oops, that's not what I wanted. I didn't want anything from this guy. Well. I guess that's it. We're just gonna call it, because there's nothing else to be gained. That chest. I'll look inside. I'm just gonna take a peek. Oh, fire arrows. Okay. 20 fire arrows! An entire day of searching, we get 20 fire arrows. Good enough, I guess. Well, next time, I guess we'll go attempt that cave and probably waste the rest of our fire arrows and then find out it was the wrong cave, but I guess we'll just have to see, so... Until then, please like the video and have a good one.